Hey everybody, this is Steve Chase here. I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite formulas in Microsoft Excel, the X lookup. All right, so we are interested in looking at these SKU numbers here. And so that's a very important column in our table that we are gonna be looking at um, how, to, how to look at, looking up relevant information related to this SKU number. So once we have the SKU number that we know we're looking up, then we can go out and we can literally, with an X lookup, go grab you know anything that's that we might want. We might want to see, you know, it, um, is it taxable? Um, we might want to go the other direction and know it, what is the description of it. So that's the beauty of the X lookup is once you find it you can go any direction that you want up down left right to get to the location to return the value so a whole lot more valuable and versatile than the vlookup so let's talk about how to do this okay so first of all um, <clears throat> my recommendation is you create a table i've already done that ahead of time but notice that um, i've given my table name here products so that's important I've got videos on how to create tables in Excel. Check them out and then create a table for your data that you're gonna be looking up within it. All right, next, um, have a location, like for example, here we have a SKU number that we're gonna be looking up right here. So we wanna find out how much quantity on hand is this particular SKU number here. So. If we were just using our eyeballs, we would have to perhaps go down, find it. Here it is. Uh, it's 56. Go off to the side. 120 is what I see uh, for that right there. So now to do the X lookup, pick the cell you want to do that in right here. I'm in B2. I'm going to go up to the formulas tab and I'm going to click on lookup and reference. Then from here we just need to go find it which is all the way down at the bottom X lookup right here. All right so I'll go ahead and connect to A2. Currently A2 is what we're looking up. Now we need to tell it where we're going to look for it in which array okay so go f find it it happens to be it happens to be in column C but but within the table specifically I'm going to drag my mouse across these tables right here beautiful so it, what happened was because the table has been called products that's the products table and then the next in square brackets that we see here we're going to see that um, skew is the dynamic range of where we're going to be looking up here. Okay, so my table array, where it's going to return, I'm going to go off to the side here. Now, if I let's imagine that I had. Um, you know, hundreds of records. I could also put my mouse right here when I see a black arrow, click, and that will go ahead and select everything below it. So products, quantity on hand. Okay. All right. If not found, so by default, it's going to look for an exact match, but in, in the event we have a typo or it's just not listed there, what would we want it to say? So I'm just going to type not found. How about that? And then our match mode specifies kind of dealing with um, numbers and if you're looking up numerical values where we're like a tax table. That, that's for a different example. Okay. So we'll leave that a blank here. We'll hit OK. Awesome. Okay, so it found it. Let's try changing this here to another one. Oh yeah, <laughs> so so cool. Let me zoom out. Let's take a look at this A 
O2, 10 right here. Oh yeah, right there. There it is, 85. Boom. And of course, that means that it found it. Okay, right here. Okay, it's looking sharp. Um, let's let's go ahead and manipulate. So let's say I had a typo and I had a bunch of Z's at the end. That doesn't exist. All right. So you can see. Um, it, it didn't find it, okay. And I've got validation on, on top of that, so that's why it gave me this error there, so that, that's just awesome, okay.